Hi, welcome to Keep It Like It Was. Hi, welcome to Keep It Like It Was. Welcome to Keep It Like It Was. I'm Kyle and this is... Me. <laughs> this is me or... Jack. 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 Yeah. And we are going to talk to you about worms. Jack, do you like worms? Yeah. Come here. Show, uh, show our friends the worms. We're going to talk to you about vermicomposting today. As Jack is showing you, we have a system set up next to our aquaponics that is a home to um, over uh, 10,000 worms right now. Yeah. As you can see like that. You want to show that to the camera? Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why do you have worms in your basement? Uh, well, number one, worms are awesome, right? Um, but most importantly, it does, a, it does a couple really important things for our aquaponics. Um, one, uh, it takes table scraps from upstairs and they turn it into this awesome, awesome compost. This is called worm compost or worm casings. This is the most nutrient rich stuff and it smells good. Smell. Most nutrient rich compost that you can ever get. Uh, on top of that, it creates something called worm tea. So as the worms are munching in the system, uh, they create a lot of moisture. We put moisture into it and it turns into this liquid which we can then put right into the aquaponics system that adds nutrient to the system and you get this awesome growth from, from all your plants. Um, but enough about that, let's talk about this system. This is basically three tiers. Each tier works exactly the same. And what ends up happening is you start out with one, like this, and uh, you put uh, some shredded newspaper in there, you put table scraps upstairs, so, you know, like old pastas and breads and cereals, uh, and the worms go to town. They end up munching it and eating it. Got that one. And uh, they turn it into the worm casings. As they yeah, munch and... Yeah, it turned yellow. They turned yellow? Yeah. As the worms munch and munch and churn, you put another system, put another container right on top. As the worms get done in the bottom container, they'll crawl their way up to the top and start on the scraps that you have in this container. And that keeps going. You found another one? Good job. That keeps going and going until uh, you get down probably about three months where you harvest your worm casings. And what you do is you take them and uh, you put them in a bucket just like this. And once you get them in the bucket, now worms are efficient, right? But sometimes they're not the brightest things. And a lot of worms, no matter how, you, uh, no matter how well you harvest or how enticing you make this top layer look by putting scraps in, uh, a lot of them um, get stuck in your harvest. So what we like to do, what do we do when worms get stuck in this bucket, Jack? Uh, it gets stuck on this. Yes. What we do is Jack and I get together. Come on over here, buddy. Let's show them how we pick worms out. Okay. We'll take some worm compost and throw it in here. And then Jack and I like to go through and pick out the worms. Jack, do you see any worms? Yes, one. All right, let's put them right there. And we'll basically harvest them on this plate, like you can see us doing. And when we get enough worms on here, they'll either go for the fish and feed the fish, or we'll put them directly into the aquaponics system where they'll turn all that fish waste into awesome worm casings and uh, further the, uh, the nutrients I turn, bank. I turn monsters. <laughs> Sometimes they might turn into monsters. But yeah, we'll see. I turn monsters. Do you want to go dump this into the system? Here, yeah. go around this way and dump it in there. So as Jack dumps those worms in, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick primer on, uh, on vermicomposting and why it's so cool. It's not only cool because they're human garbage disposals. Uh, yeah. Human garbage disposals. Come here, buddy. Okay. Um, not only do they get rid of all your table scraps, but they also uh, create nutrients for your system, feed your fish, and uh, it's good good one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. All right, so um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time, and uh, we'll talk more about worms in the future. Uh, Jack, you want to say goodbye? Bye-bye. Bye. Let's try again.